According to a source, Charles shall make Prince Edward the Duke of Edinburgh after his brother thought plans to bypass him and confer the title on Princess Charlotte was a slap in the face. According to rumours that Edward, Earl of Wessex, was to be passed up for the title of Duke of Edinburgh, the king is eager to make amends with him? The prince was expected to receive the honour, as had long been assumed. Yet the king hasn't yet given it to Princess Charlotte, despite having discussed giving it to her when she was older, according to reliable sources. Nevertheless, family-friendly sources now claim that the king has changed his mind and that Edward will likely receive the title after all, maybe in March of next year when he turns 60. As it appeared that the king could bestow his late father's title on Charlotte, the granddaughter of Prince William, tensions within the family increased. The king is claimed to have leaned on Edward's counsel while the possibility of a U.S. sex abuse lawsuit hanging over their brother Prince Andrew because Charles and Edward are close. It was a slap in the face, especially considering how helpful Edward has been to Charles throughout the Andrew debacle, according to a source close to Edward. Additionally, Edward and Sophie always thought that their son, Viscount Severn, would eventually inherit the title because the Queen had promised it to him before she went away. At this point, it appears that the tide is turning. It is obvious that the King has had time to consider the late Queen's intentions. One source told the Mail on Sunday that instead of giving the title to his son once Edward dies, the King might request that it go back to the Crown. The issue is that it's possible that someone removed from the throne could one day have a prominent title like Edinburgh, which is crucial to the Union, according to an insider. King Charles introduces a new coronation beverage that the Queen would enjoy. Less than 12 weeks remain till King Charles III is crowned. Prior to the momentous occasion scheduled for May, King Charles III has introduced a unique special coronation beverage. According to Royal Collection Shop. Co. UK, the Royal Windsor Pink Gin was created in time for the big event and was produced with hand-picked raspberries from across the royal estate. The Pink Gin, which went on sale on February 17th, is spiced with sharp pink peppercorns and warming cashew bark, while orange peel and rose petal offer a soft sweetness. The hand-picked raspberries are then infused into the spirit, offering the gin a delicious flavor and brilliant pink tint, according to the official Royal Collection Store website. Rebecca Russell, a royal reporter for My London, tweeted the following alongside official images of the alcoholic beverage. The Royal Collection Trust have released images of the pink gin they recently debuted ahead of His Majesty's coronation in May. Raspberries cultivated on the Royal Estate in Windsor are utilised as an infusion in the beverage. The website states that only the UK, Germany, New Zealand, and Australia are eligible for shipping. The beverage can be purchased from the Royal Collection stores in Windsor, London, and Edinburgh for £38 for a 70 centiliters bottle. The Royal Collection Trust a registered charity, will receive all sales proceeds. The late monarch's preferred cocktail is supposed to be a gin and Dubonnet, thus the new gin would have won the Queen's endorsement. The late Queen, who passed away in September at the age of 96, is said to have sipped the beverage right before lunch. William Hansen, an etiquette expert, previously shared a video on Instagram demonstrating how to make the late Queen's preferred cocktail. It is a refreshingly fruity drink with a somewhat bitter taste, according to Mr. Hansen. A wine-based aperitif is called Dubonnet, which is pronounced Dubonnet. It is a blend of fortified wine, herbs, and spices and has a 15% alcohol content. The late Queen Mother, who passed away in 2002, was a fan of the cocktail as well.